Welcome to another update. Uh, today I thought I'd discuss a question that I received recently asking me what is cumin and uh, what does it do? And I felt the best way to answer this question would be to explain why I take cumin and this way you receive a doctor's perspective. Now cumin, also known as curcumin, is better known as the Indian spice that is contained in curries. But it has received a lot of airtime over the last couple of years and quickly risen to become one of the most valuable new nutritional supplements on the market. And this is due to all the research which continues to churn out lots of data showing that cumin has tremendous health promoting abilities. And I thought I'd discuss a very short list of some of these characteristics. Cumin is a powerful anti-inflammatory and provides great joint pain relief for hands, shoulders, knees, and back pain. Cumin also reduces the size and the number of intestinal polyps, thereby reducing your risk of colon cancer. And this came out as a study from Johns Hopkins group in 2006. Cumin also exerts influence over insulin secretion and the receptivity of the insulin receptors, which is great news for diabetics. And then finally, Cumin also exhibits extraordinary anti-cancer capabilities. Now, we've already just mentioned colon cancer, but the latest research is showing that it also influences prostate cancer and breast cancer. In other words, prostate cancer cells and breast cancer cells don't do so well in the presence of cumin. Now folks, this is one agent that we all need to have on board. And there are many other processes and beneficial effects of cumin that we're still learning about today. Now, I take curumin, and curumin contains cumin and cuminoids. And these cuminoids are smaller molecules that are derivatives of cumin, and actually are the parts that do the job. And curumin particularly contains one cuminoid that is 100 times more potent than regular cumin. Curumin also contains boswellia and natokinase, and these two ingredients potentiate and complement the activities of these cuminoids. I take curumin mainly for my joints, but there's no doubt that I enjoy the benefits, the other benefits that we've just discussed. Now folks, this is what preventive medicine is all about, and we need to include cumin as part of our preventative maintenance program. I take curumin Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't take it every day. I pulse it. So, if you're going to look at cumin, please take a look at curumin. It's pure, it's effective, and it's more potent. But either way, you need to include cumin as part of your preventative medicine regimen. Until next time, stay proactive.